So I'm sure you're all seeing on the news and stuff where a lot of people have perished over this past holiday season because of these wicked winter storms that have come across the country and buried communities in feet of snow and blizzard conditions, 75 mile an hour winds, ice storms, uh, you name it, it's happened. And a lot of people have perished. And what can you do to make sure that you are not another statistic in this whole game. Very simple few things that you people can do out there and we're gonna jump over to the car right now and I'm gonna talk you through them. So what are some of the things that we can do and we can put in our vehicles here that maybe give us a little bit of security as we are traveling. Maybe you're traveling for business or maybe you're just trying to get from home, from work or whatever. Maybe you have a long commute like I do. You know, I mean, you just never know what the weather is going to bring, especially if you live up north. Now, you know, we all know the weathermans, they try to forecast things and everything else, but it doesn't always pan out the way that they really anticipate it to. They're trying to predict Mother Nature. So this is where we have to step in and we have to be prepared. And so that if things do change, things do go south, we have stuff in our vehicles to ensure that we can stay warm, we can eat, we have something to drink, and we maybe have some way to cook even um, in a dire emergency type situation. But there's a lot of different things you can do that don't really take up a lot of space. So let's get going on this video. Here we go. Today it's about some of the things that we need to make sure that we do have. All right, number one, jumper cables. Have a set of jumper cables in this way here. If something happens, you can get a jump or jump somebody else. And we all happen to each other out over here this little bag right here in this little compartment this is a small little portable compressor all right all you can do you can hook this to your battery or just plug it into your cigarette lighter nice and easy you can air up your tires and everything else and be on your merry way a regular towel now why would you want a towel well if you got to get out of your car and it's cold having one of those towels is going to be a great thing if you don't have a scarf or anything else you can wrap it around your neck and stuff to stay warm if you do get wet when you get out of the car and you want to make sure that you are drying off as soon as possible because if it is cold out you do not want to get any colder all right let's move on over we'll go here first all right now this is just a small cooler that i do have here what have we got in here we just got some snacks all right you know whatever you like to eat just throw some snacks and stuff in here I would throw in some rich crackers. You never know. All right, something else I'd throw in here. A couple of little cans of baked beans. Just a little dinky ones, you know? Put those in there. Make sure that you do have spoons. Extra ones because they're plastic, they may break. Always have water, carry water with you, and a jar of peanut butter. All right, it gets you through whatever you gotta go. Now over here, in here we have all different types of emergency type supplies this blue thing is right on the top it's a whole rain suit your rain suits act as windbreakers also remember that you can always put that on over the top of any of your clothes so always make sure you buy an extra size up because then you can put this over your own jackets or anything else if they're not waterproof and windproof and you just made them waterproof and windproof because this is going to take and take everything away in the very back of this compartment believe it or not i crammed a whole wool blanket all right now in the center part here just on the chance that you are stuck like some of those people were for days on end 48 to 72 hours all right <clears throat> we have a couple of freeze-dried meals and down in the bottom we have a container we can boil water now you're saying no, and always make sure you bring a knife now you're saying, survival, why do I want to bring freeze-dried food and a cup to boil water? How am I going to heat that up? Always bring a little dinky stove with you. A small one that runs on those fuel blocks because you can get out of your car, dig a little break, a wind break with the snow. All you got to do is heat up that water, pour it in here. You can use snow and this way here, I mean, you're going to have to do it two or three times because you don't get a lot of water out of the snow, but... Once you get your amount of water you need for your meal, you're done. And you can always drink a hot cup of water or something like that. You want to make sure that you always have different types of things. I carry extra shoestrings in here. There's a needle and threads and that kind of stuff. 
then down here in this bottom pouch this is just basically my water purification my Sawyer Mini and all that is right down in there so that if there is a water source I can take and get something to drink now let's move on over to the side of the car and go inside all right what you guys looking at this unit here takes and straps on right to your seat see these straps goes around goes behind my seat cover and snaps all right <clears throat> in here obviously this is my first aid kit all right then i have one it's got flashlights and stuff in it has my fire my camping stove my small little camping stove with the little blocks and things of that nature all right moving on down <clears throat> this one here has a headlamp in it and the attachment to charge it all right so this way here i can just plug it into my car and i can charge it now down here this big pouch as you see right down here see that pouch okay that pouch there has a flashlight on this side in the center there is my bank line and miscellaneous sort of tools some wrenches uh screwdrivers phillips a straight a pair of pliers uh, you just never know this way here if you got a setup something like this and you hook it right into the back of your car seat you can put it here or you can put it in the back all right which whichever you know i mean depends on how big your family is and how big your car is you know this way here you can pack quite a bit of stuff it's all organized it's all put away and this way here you will survive and get to your destination and you'll arrive alive so if you're going to be hitting the road anytime soon you might want to make sure besides checking your air and your oil and your uh all your fluids and stuff in your car and making sure your battery's good you want to make sure that you do have all the things you need to survive in case guess what this shit hits the fan while you're on the road um because you know we all put a lot of faith in the weatherman but it doesn't always pan out that way now does it um over the past few weeks that has been very evident so this way here maybe you've got a go bag ready to go you got some food some jumper cables maybe something to air up your tires you have blankets so you can keep yourself warm um, you have a small cooler with water and snacks whatever it is that you like to eat i just did mine for a demonstration it's all in what you want to bring all right and how big your family is and always take this. I mean, if you travel a long ways for work, it doesn't matter. Make sure you've got a blanket and a go bag and stuff in your vehicle because you just never know. You could break down on the side of the road. doesn't matter where you are. But at least if you've got some basic tools at your disposal, maybe it won't be so bad. And you'll be able to survive and arrive wherever your destination is safe and sound. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video. I hope everybody has a great day and make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.